Now for this last part, part B, we've just got to show that the fifth term in the sequence, A5, equals 4. And this is very straightforward. Because to get A5, we've got to get A4 first of all. And to get A4, we just set N equal to 3. So when n equals 3, we therefore have that a4 is going to be equal to the square root then of a3 squared plus 3. And we know that a3 is root 10, so we've got to square that then, root 10 squared, and then add 3. Root 10, when you square it, is 10. 10 plus 3 is 13, so a4 is root 13. So we can therefore get a5 now when we set n equal to 4. a5 is going to be equal to the square root of a4 squared plus 3. Well, a4 was root 13, so we've got root 13. And we're going to square that and then plus the 3. Well, root 13 squared is 13. 13 plus 3 is 16. So we've got that a5 equals the root of 16, which is simply 4. Okay, so there you go. Nice easy question on sequences then.